Hey everyone, this is Phoebe Ward with Board Game Geek at Gen Con 2016, and I'm here with Jay Tomlinson from Rio Grande Games, and he's going to tell us all about some super secret upcoming games that they have. Ooh, <laughs> they're not really secret. Well, okay, well, upcoming games. Upcoming then. games. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, we've got several games, as, as I was saying earlier, some of which we hoped would have, be here, but they're not. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've had actually problems getting all the parts correct and whatever, but we've got uh, Coal Country. Okay, <laughs> we've got a game called Coal Country, which is kind of a resource management worker placement game, and it's G about mining. You might have guessed that, yeah. but if not, no. Uh, and all of these, by the way, this one included, will be out before the end of the year. Probably within the next two months, but it all depends, unfortunately. Yeah. All the graphics is done. We're just waiting for the various wood parts, and, and they've been delayed. Uh, we'll have Oktoberfest in time for Oktoberfest. Oh, perfect. And its uh, theme is, well, if you haven't figured it out by now, I don't know what to tell you. Drinking beer? But the, the players are represent different... Uh, company selling beer at some event in Germany, I can't remember what his name is, and uh, if you sell more beer than anybody else, you win the game. Cool. Uh, it doesn't come with beer. Okay. Well, we'll make sure people know that. We might yeah. have some disappointed customers. On that's this. right. That's <laughs> right. Um, we've got um, Santa's Workshop, which will be out before Christmas. It uh, sounds like it might be a children's game, but it's not. It's essentially a bunch of elves in Santa's workshop making toys in time for Christmas. And the group of elves that make the best toys wins. So it's a combination of resource management and replacement. You know, a non, not a common theme, generally. Yeah. Right. Or mechanism or whatever. <laughs> um, we're going to produce Orient Express, okay. which is sort of the follow-on to 20th Century Limited, but in Europe, of course. Um, I always forget Epic, which is a new game that uh, is, uh, I guess, exploration in the Stone Age. So you, each, each uh, player represents a tribe that's wandering around and discovering um, you know, stuff, but also they're inventing things. So you have an opportunity in the game to invent uh, I'm not sure the wheel, but you can invent a bow and arrow and a spear and a knife because those don't exist at the beginning of the game. And of course, once you start inventing these things, you become a better hunter or gatherer or various other things like that. So that'll be out in the fall. Um, a jump drive, which is the, um, I guess, intro version to Race for the Galaxy. So we have Race for the Galaxy. And maybe you should have had Jump Drive first, but uh, we didn't do it that way. Uh, but we've had a number of people, particularly fans of Race for the Galaxy, who are having a difficult time getting some of their friends to play with them because it's too tough, whatever. So this is a, a slimmed down version, a little bit simpler, runs a little faster. Um, <clears throat> the Race for the Galaxy fans that have played it uh, like it. Of course, they wouldn't play that instead of Race for the Galaxy if they could, but they uh, they suggest that they've had a, a good chance of using it to introduce the game to uh, their friends who maybe have been a little off of, of Race for the Galaxy. Um, so that'll be out before the end of the year. As long as we're talking and until you throw me out, <laughs> Um, we're also working on a game called New Frontiers, okay. and that's the uh, essentially the Race for the Galaxy board game. Okay. So, if uh, you'd like it to be a board game instead of a card game, <laughs> you can have that. Does it work uh, very similarly, or? Um, well, it, it it certainly has the elements of uh, Race for the Galaxy, the the different. Uh, you know, actions you can do on a turn and the opportunity to select them or whatever. It's just, we have a board with worlds and things like that. So, uh, that's not, you know, the, as, as opposed to the others where the graphics are essentially done, we're waiting for parts. 
that one we're still working on the graphics, but that'll be next year. And, and it will be, it will be, we're working on that. We've got a game that is uh, pick up and deliver on the Mississippi River called Broadhorns. Uh, that is also not likely to be out this year, but will be out next year. Um, for those who can't find a copy of Empires, we have been out, we'll have more this week. So that's good news to those people and to the people who already have a copy, they don't care, that's fine. Um, Sometime next year, we're going to have a very heavy box of metal pieces. Uh, we actually were going to do it this year. This is the metal pieces from Dominion. We're collecting them all, putting them in a box for people who want them, either extra pieces for the Dominion games or because people like them for games in general. They're very nice. Uh, but then Donald showed me Empires, which has 96 metal pieces. Uh, and so we decided to wait until that was done and we're going to include those as well. So uh, that'll come out sometime next year. Um, I'm told by Donald that he's working on something for Dominion that we might have next year. Okay. Um, uh, that's just sort of a hint or a tease because uh, he hasn't committed yet and if we don't have something then we won't have something. And, um, and so we have that, and I may be running dry. <laughs> I think that's that's all I know enough about to at least say we're definitely going to be doing it. That's a decent amount of news right there. That's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for having me. That is the news from Rio Grande Games.